to find out how a spacesuit is made, I've come here to a space museum. Space begins around 60 miles above our planet Earth. In space, our bodies float, and there's no air to breathe outside a spacecraft. So astronauts have to wear spacesuits when they travel to space and when they work outside a spacecraft. And this is a real life, actual spacesuit. If we look here on the astronaut's arm, can you see there's a little mirror on a piece of elastic? They use it so they can see the controls on the front of the spacesuit. Because as soon as they put the helmet on, they can't look downwards, so they need the mirror to be able to see. Now, because there's no air in space and we need air to breathe, the spacesuit will hold tanks of oxygen. And oxygen is in the air that we breathe and it will flow into the suit so the astronaut can breathe easily. The material is really thick and very strong, but that's because it's made up of 14 layers of different materials. This shows us all 14 different layers. And can you see they sit on top of each other a little bit like a sandwich? And this here has a tube running through it. And cold water runs through that tube, so when it sits against an astronaut's skin, it helps to keep them cool. This layer here is made of a material called ripstop, and it stops the astronaut suit from ripping. The next seven layers are made of this silver, shiny material called mylar, and that traps heat inside the suit. And then this last layer here is really strong. It's fireproof and waterproof, so it's a little bit like astronaut armour. How brilliant is that? It can be very cold out in space, so I'm going to show you just how the mylar material helps keep an astronaut warm. Let's set this up just here. This is my special thermal imaging camera, and it shows me how hot or cold things are using different colours. Can you see, at the moment, my body is an orangey-red colour, and that's because my body heat is escaping to the outside through my thin cotton clothes. So if an astronaut wore thin clothes like this in space, all of their body heat would escape and they would get very cold very quickly. So what do you think is going to happen when I wrap this big sheet of mylar around me? Let's find out. camera is showing the outside of the mylar as a bluey purpley colour. What the mylar is doing is it's trapping my body heat inside and stopping it from escaping to the outside world. If I open the mylar up, you can see my body is still nice and warm and that's why an astronaut spacesuit has seven layers of mylar inside it. Stop the astronaut getting cold. This is a copy of a suit that an astronaut wears for launch and landing. That's when they leave for space and come back again. And I've got special permission to try it on. The launch suit has attachments on the front for air and electricity, a zip shaped like a V and a sealed helmet to protect the astronaut. Ta-da! How do I look? <laughs> And I even get to try on a real space glove. The amazing thing about an astronaut's gloves is that they are made to fit each astronaut perfectly. And that means they can still wiggle their fingers so they can flick switches and press the buttons needed to launch a spacecraft. The spacesuits are quite bendy too, thanks to these lines on the knees and elbows called pleats. It's extra important for the astronauts to be able to bend their knees and their arms in this suit because during launch and landing, they have to sit in this position for up to six hours. 
Oh, maybe I could be an astronaut one day too.